molecular orbital diagram of O2, O2 negative ion and O2 positive ion. I will teach you super easy trick to draw molecular diagram of these species. We all know that molecular orbitals is formed from two atomic orbitals. So I write atomic orbital at the left hand side and atomic orbital at the right hand side. Now I write the atomic orbitals like 1s, 2s and 2p. 1s atomic orbital can accommodate two electrons, 2s atomic orbital can accommodate two electrons, 2p atomic orbital has three degenerate orbitals like 2px, 2py and 2pz and they accommodate six electrons. If you learned writing these atomic orbitals, you have already learned writing molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule and its species. Now listen carefully. I copy these atomic orbitals from the left hand side and I write them at the right hand side. I write 1s, 2s and 2p. We know that when atomic orbitals combine together, they form molecular orbitals. Here, this one atomic orbital and this one atomic orbital combine together to form two molecular orbitals. Here, I write 1s and 1s. This is bonding molecular orbital and it has lower energy. While this is anti-bonding molecular orbital and it has higher energy. Due to higher energy, I put star on this anti-bonding molecular orbital. These bonding molecular orbitals are formed from atomic orbitals. I draw these two lines from them. Similarly, this 2s atomic orbital and this 2s atomic orbital combine together to form two molecular orbitals. I write 2s bonding molecular orbital and 2s antibonding molecular orbital. I put star on 2s antibonding molecular orbital. I draw these two lines. Lastly, these three atomic orbitals of 2p and these three atomic orbitals of 2p combine together to form six molecular orbitals. Firstly, I write these three atomic orbitals. Remember that 2px and 2py have the same energy. Let me repeat it. 2px and 2py have the same energy. So I write 2px is equal to 2py on the same line because they have the same energy. I write 2pz below them. Remember that these three are bonding molecular orbitals. Secondly, I will take these three atomic orbitals and I will convert them to antibonding molecular orbitals. We know that 2px and 2py have the same energy. I write them together. I put star on them. Remember that in antibonding molecular orbitals, 2pz has the highest energy. I write it here. I put star on it. I draw these lines. Now remember this important point. 1s form sigma bond, 2s form sigma bond, 2px form pi bond, 2py form pi bond, while 2pz form sigma bond. Hence I put sigma and pi bond with their respective species. Like 1s form sigma bond, 2s form sigma bond, 2px and 2py form pi bond while 2pz form sigma bond. Thus this is the required molecular orbital diagram. Remember that energy of the orbitals increases from the bottom to the top. I mean sigma 1s molecular orbital has the lowest energy while sigma star 2pz has the highest energy. Now we will draw the molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule. We know that when two oxygen atoms combine together, they form oxygen molecule. I write one oxygen atom at the left hand side and one oxygen atom at the right hand side. 
the atomic number of each oxygen atom is 8. It means that each oxygen atom has 8 electrons. Now according to Aufbau principle, firstly we fill those orbitals which have lower energy. Let me repeat it. We fill those atomic orbitals which have lower energy. Hence I put 2 electrons in 1s, 2 electrons in 2s and 1 electron in 2px, 1 electron in 2py, 1 electron in 2pz and 1 electron in 2px. This is electronic configuration of this atomic orbital. Now I copy this electronic configuration of atomic orbital from the left hand side and I write it at the right hand side for the second oxygen atom. This is the electronic configuration of the second oxygen atom. Now we will place electrons in molecular orbitals of oxygen molecule. Here remember this very very important point. This 1s atomic orbital and this 1s atomic orbital do not form molecular orbitals because they have smaller energy and they cannot overlap. Let me repeat it. This 1s atomic orbital and this one and this one atomic orbital do not form molecular orbitals because they have smaller energy and they cannot overlap. Hence we say that these both atomic orbitals are non-bonding atomic orbitals. Now the remaining six electrons of this atomic orbital and this atomic orbital combine together to form 12 electrons. Hence I will place these 12 electrons in molecular orbitals. According to Aufbau principle, I place 2 electrons in sigma 2s, 2 electrons in this sigma star 2s, 2 electrons in sigma 2pz, 1 electron in pi 2px and 1 electron in pi 2py. Then again 1 electron in pi 2px and 1 electron in pi 2py. Now two electrons are remaining. I put one electron in pi star 2px and one electron in pi star 2py. This is the molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule. Remember that oxygen molecule is paramagnetic in nature because it has two unpaired electrons in pi star 2px and pi star 2py. Secondly, its bonding order is equal to number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital minus number of electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals upon 2. We can see that here are 8 electrons in bonding molecular orbital minus there are 4 electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals. After calculation, I get 2. Hence its bonding order is 2. Now we will learn molecular orbital diagram of O2 plus ion. We know that O2 plus ion means it has lost one electron. Here the trick is to remove one electron from atomic orbital of 2p. Let me repeat it. The trick is to remove one electron from atomic orbital of 2p. I remove this one electron from this 2px. I also remove one electron from this pi star 2py molecular orbital. Hence this is the molecular orbital diagram of O2 plus ion. Remember that it has paramagnetic nature because it has unpaired electrons. Secondly, its bonding order is equal to number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals minus number of electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals. There are 8 electrons in bonding molecular orbitals and 3 electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals. I get 2.5. Hence its bonding order is 2.5. Finally, I will teach you the molecular orbital diagram of O2 negative ion or superoxide ion. Firstly, I write the molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule. 
I mean, I re-add one electron to 2px and one electron to pi star 2py. Now it is the molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule. This O2 negative ion means oxygen molecule gained one electron. Hence, I will add one electron to this molecular orbital diagram of oxygen molecule. I add one electron to 2py atomic orbital. Also, I add one electron to pi star 2px molecular orbital. Hence, this is the molecular orbital diagram of O2 negative ion. It has paramagnetic nature. Its bonding is number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals minus number of electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals. It is at minus 5. I get 1.5. Hence, its bond order is 1.5. At last, I give you this important assignment. Try to draw the molecular orbital diagram of O2 negative 2 ion. Find its magnetic nature and bonding order and drop your answers in the comment box.